offering of the Holy Mass. Accept most holy trinity, this sacrifice fulfilled at one time by the divine word, and now renewed on this altar through the hands of your priest. I unite myself to the intentions of Jesus Christ, priest and victim, that I may be entirely offered for your glory and for the salvation of all people. Through Jesus Christ, with Jesus Christ, and in Jesus Christ, I intend to adore your eternal majesty, to thank your immense goodness, to satisfy your offended justice, and to beseech your mercy for the church, for my dear ones, and for myself. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done to me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, forth, we beseech, we beseech you, o Lord, o Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, made by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Mass Intentions for the Day For the intentions of the daughters of St. Paul, of Mary, Marley Jane Mamawag, for the good health of Magdalena Capulso, for the healing and recovery of Herbert Garo, Meli Papango, Father Albert Bernal, SSP, Joyce Laxon, Jenny Mabasa. For the eternal repose of the souls of Leonila D. San Miguel, Maria Asuncion Mamawag, Rafael San Victores, Reynaldo and Martina Tianco, Aristea and Silveria Baltasar, Alma Andico, Ramon Aldaba, Ernesto Ramon Bobby and Apple Capulso for all the souls in purgatory and those who are forgotten, for the living and deceased members of the St. Paul Mass Association, and for the Mass Intentions of the Sambuhay TV Mass.
In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts, thoughts and in my, my words, in what, what I have done, done and in what, what I have failed, failed to do, through, through my, my fault, through my fault, through, through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, Mary ever Virgin, all the angels, angels and saints, saints and you, my, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what we, they have sinned. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the first book of Samuel. There was a certain man from Ramataim, Elkanah by name, a Zupite from the hill country of Ephraim. He was the son of Jeroham, son of Elihi, son of Tohu, son of Zuk, an Ephraimite. He had two wives, one named Hannah, the other Penina. Penina had children, but Hannah was childless. This man regularly went on pilgrimage from his city to worship the Lord of hosts and to sacrifice to him at Shiloh, where the two sons of Eli, Hopni, and Penehas were ministering as priests of the Lord. When the day came for Elkanah to offer sacrifice, he used to give a portion each to his wife Penina and to all her sons and daughters, but a double portion to Hannah because he loved her, though the Lord had made her ba barren. Her rival to upset her turned into a constant reproach to her that the Lord had left her barren. This went on year after year. Each time they made their pilgrimage to the sanctuary of the Lord, Penina would approach her, and Hannah would weep and refuse to eat. Her husband Elkanah used to ask her, Hannah, why do you weep and why do you refuse to eat? Why do you grieve? And I am not am I not more to you than ten sons? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let our response be To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take, I will take up, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bands. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. Please rise. Alleluia, alleluia. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. After John had been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the gospel of God. This is a time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. As he passed by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting their nets into the sea. They were fishermen. Jesus said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. Then they left their nets and followed him. He walked along a little farther and saw James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They too were in a boat mending their nets. Then he called them. So they left their father Zebedee in the boat along with the hired men and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Sa araw na ito, lunes, hanggang sa Martes before Ash Wednesday, ito yung tinatawag natin na panahon, karaniwang panahon, no? ordinary time. And the ordinary time is the time given to us by the church to deepen our understanding of Jesus and His mission. In fact, bago nagkaroon ng uh, pagdiriwang ng Pasko, yun na tinatawag natin na panahon ng kaguluhan. We ponder on the chaotic situation before the birth of Jesus. And then we celebrated Christmas, the birth of Jesus. And this time, after from this week of baptism hanggang sa uh, Ash Wednesday, ay ating pagnilayan ang misyon ni Jesus. Two major feasts, dalawang kapistahan ang ating uh, um, ipagdiriwang sa panahong ito. Unang-una, yung baptism ni Jesus kahapon na ating pinagdiriwang. And then we have the presentation of Jesus on February 2, which is also the purification of Mary. So baptism and the presentation of Jesus in the temple. Now, we have to understand that following Jesus is not simply a knowing. Na maalam, alamin natin kung ano ang mga gawain ni Jesus. Pagsunod kay Kristo means also doing what He does. Kaya nga sa ating Ibanghelyo, makikita natin kung paano sinimula ni Jesus sa kanyang misyon sa Galilee. Two or three days ago, narinig natin sa Ebanghelyo kung paano binigay kay Jesus sa sinagoga yung isang scroll. Isang scroll from the prophet Isaiah. At nang binasa ito ni Jesus, towards the end of that scroll, sinabi niya, the words, these words are fulfilled in me today. Kumbaga, yun ang pinaka-program of life ni Jesus. Parang inangkin niya yung mga, yung mga sinabi ni Isaiah doon, yung mga prophecies, sinabi niya na parang sa katauhan ko ay nangyayari na no? ang mga sinasabi dito ni Propeta Isaiah. Ay, ito na nga, nakita natin sa Ebanghelyo kung paano sinimulan ni Jesus ang kanyang misyon. And he started his mission by choosing his closest collaborators. No? Siguro napansin ni Jesus na malaki ang kanyang gagawin. No? Hindi basta-basta. Kailangan niya ng tulong. And then he started calling a 
two pairs of brothers. Unang-una si Andrew and kanyang kapatid, Simon and Andrew. And then later on si James and John. Kung napansin natin, the first pair, Simon and Andrew, they left their nets. No? Napaka-symbolic ang ating mga pagbasa ngayon. Unang-una itong si Simon and Andrew, they left their nets. Kumbaga, kung tayo ay susunod kay Kristo, eh, marahil ay tayo rin, ay tayo ay tinatawag na iiwan yung mga bagay-bagay. The things that we are uh, attached to. No? They left their nets to follow Jesus. But Jesus would give them a greater calling. Kaya magiging fishers of men na sila. No? Hindi, sa, hindi maganda yung trabaho nila as fishermen. Hindi po yun. Pero ang greater calling nila ay ang pagsunod kay Kristo at gawain ang kanyang gawain. No? Gawin ang kanyang gawain. So they left their nets. Nets symbolize the things that they are attached to. Ito ngayon, yung pangalawang pair, si John and uh, James. They left their father and their followers, uh, the hard men who followed him. Ito ang mabigat sa pagsunod kay Kristo. Iiwanan yung mga malapit sa atin. Relationships. So discipleship is also detaching ourselves from relationships that would hinder us from following Jesus. Marami tayong mga halimbawa. No? Halimbawa kami, mga pare, uh, mga brothers sa St. Paul, uh, hindi kami nag-asawa at iniwan din namin aming pamilya in order to form a, a family, a religious family. And this family, of course, would do the mission of Jesus. But there is no total disconnection kasi we are also allowed to visit our families no? and our fathers. Pa yun nga, kung anong man ang, ang state of life mo, kahit ikaw ay may asawa or you're single and you're committed to help your families, at a certain point, you realize that ang pagsunod kay Kristo is really growing in intimacy with Him. Kumbaga, dapat walang sagabal. Walang ibang relationship na pumipigil sa'yo para mahalin mo si Jesus. Dapat siya lang ang nauna. Number one palagi si Jesus. No? My dear friends, let us pray that during these uh, weeks of ordinary time, days of ordinary time, mapailalim natin we go deeper into the meaning of the incarnation. Sino ba talaga si Jesus sa buhay natin? Ano ba talaga ang hamon, ang tawag niya sa atin? And remember that only Jesus can truly help us to fulfill our mission. And we are, through baptism, we are adopted children of God. No, tayo ay co-heirs. No? We share in the mission of Jesus and His very life because of baptism. At dahil din sa ating binyag, we share in the sacramental life of the church. No? Just imagine the responsibility that we have para ipalaganap natin ang magandang balita. Ito ay dahil nabidyagan tayo sa ngalan ni Yesu Cristo. Now is the time to do and to proclaim the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. And definitely the Lord will help us do it. Yun nga lang, dapat siya ang number one sa buhay natin. And our lives must center and must anchor on Him. We make this prayer our uh, this wish this intention our prayer even as we pray also for our kababayan na nasa taal sa talisay ngayon area kagahapon po ay pumutok yung bulkan yung taal at mapapansin niyo may mga 
ashes, no? Hanggang dito na abot tayo ng ash fall. So, let us pray for their safety. Nasa naman ay sa araw na ito ay medyo kalma na ang vulkan, no? Ang taal. I hope that there will no, wala na ang iba pang eruption. So, we have them in our prayers today. Amen. Please all stand for our prayers of the faithful. As a people chosen by God, we present before our loving Father the needs of our of all people. We say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That our pastors called by God to be fishers of men may face the challenge of renewal by preaching the Gospels. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That missionaries may become effective proclaimers of the Gospel by their witness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those called by our Lord to His service may respond generously to His call. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may touch the sick, the sorrowing, the troubled, and those who suffer in mind and body. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. That our beloved dead may live in the Lord's peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, make us fit to carry out any task you wish us to do by the strength of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received this bread, this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, yes. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O Lord, may your people's oblation find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in His fullness. For though He was born, He was in the form of God, He emptied Himself and by the blood of his, of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore he has been exalted above all things and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, 
and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Luis Antonio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray. Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer this peace to one another. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the bottom of the Christ bring us to everlasting life. Prayer during Communion For those who cannot receive communion, join us in praying the spiritual communion. Jesus, Master, you assure me, I am the life. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life. In baptism and in the sacrament of reconciliation, you have communicated to me this life of yours. Now you nourish it by making yourself my food. Take my heart. Detach it from the vain things of the world. With all my heart, I love you above all things because you are infinite good and eternal happiness. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, humbly we ask you, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and proclaim the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. Invocations to Jesus, Master. Jesus, Master, sanctify my mind and increase my faith. Jesus, teaching in the church, draw everyone to your school. Jesus, Master, deliver me from error, from vain thoughts, and from eternal darkness. Jesus, way between the Father and us, I offer you all and await all from you. Jesus, way of sanctity, make me your faithful imitator. Jesus, way, render me perfect as the Father who is in heaven. Jesus, life, live in me so that I may live in you. Jesus, life, 
Do not permit me to separate myself from you. Jesus, life, grant that I may live eternally in the joy of your love. Jesus, truth, may I be light for the world. Jesus, way, may I be example and model for souls. Jesus, life, may my presence bring grace and consolation everywhere. Amen. Prayer to St. Paul the Apostle I bless you, Jesus, for the great mercy granted to St. Paul in changing him from a bold persecutor to an ardent apostle of the Church. And you, great saint, obtain for me a heart docile to grace, conversion from my principal defect, and total configuration with Jesus Christ. Saint Paul the Apostle, pray for us. Saint Joseph, we venerate you as the model of laborers, the friend of the poor, the consoler of the afflicted, and those forced to leave their own land, the saint of divine providence. On earth, you represented the universal goodness and concern of the Heavenly Father. You were the carpenter of Nazareth and work teacher to the Son of God, who became a humble laborer for us. Assist with your prayers all who labor in intellectual, moral, and material work. For the nations obtain legislation inspired by the gospel, the spirit of Christian charity, a way of governing in accord with justice and peace. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us.